Hello. In this segment, we're going to review the techniques for ascending and descending stairs for patients who may bear weight on their injured leg. Now, there are two weight-bearing levels here. Partial weight-bearing is one. If the doctor tells you you're partial weight-bearing, you may bear up to 50% of your whole body weight on your injured leg. And then we have what's called toe-touch weight-bearing, which means you may just rest the toes on the ground. And finally, there's weight-bearing as tolerated, which as the name implies, you may weight-bear as much as you can tolerate on your injured leg. What we're going to do is do two scenarios. Scenario one is not using handrails. Scenario two is using handrails. So, with scenario one, we're going to pretend my right leg is my injured leg. The expression I'd like you to remember is you go up with the good and down with the bad. So, to go up the stairs, I'm going to press in through my arms and lightly through my right leg because I may partially weight bear. Up with my good leg, then my bad leg, then my crutches. And then again, up with the good leg, bad leg, and then the crutches. One more time, up with the good leg, bad leg, and then the crutches. This technique is a little bit easier because as you're coming up, it allows you to push off the crutches to bring the body up before finally bring the crutches. Now, I'm going to show you how to go down the stairs. Again, my right leg is my injured leg, and the expression I taught you is up with the good and down with the bad. So, what we're going to do is same thing, just reverse order. Crutches, bad leg, good leg. Crutches, bad leg, good leg. Crutches, bad leg, good leg. So now I'm going to show you scenario two. In scenario two, you're going to be using a handrail. My right leg is my injured leg, so the crutches will go underneath the left arm. I put them both together with my hand on top of the hand grips. My right arm is going to be here on the side railing. Okay, again, up with the good. So, what I'm going to be doing is coming up with my left leg and bringing up my right leg and then the crutches. Again, up with the good leg, bad leg, crutches. Up with the good leg, bad leg, crutches. One thing I want to remind you, when you're doing this for the first time, take your time. This can be a little scary, especially when you're going downstairs. So make sure you have someone to help you the first couple times until you have the pattern down pat. So now we're going to go ahead and show you how to go down the steps. So, like I said before, up with the good, down with the bad. So, crutches and my bad leg come down together, and then push down, bring down my good leg. Crutches and bad leg come down together, push through my arms, bring down the bad leg. Crutches and bad leg come down together, bring down my good leg. So what we did, we reviewed two scenarios. Scenario one was going upstairs without using a handrail. Scenario two was going down the stairs using a handrail. Like I said, the main ideas you need to remember is up with the good and down with the bad.